Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the massive mega build in Manor Lords. I hope you're all well. We're over at our fourth settlement here. You can see it. All our settlements over in the distance looks awesome through the trees in autumn. And they're just plowing in October as well. And I am going to start the uh, the barley stuff over here. But let's go do the usual quick recap so you can kind of see what's going on. So over here we're about 1.5k now. And getting pretty damn full as you can see. And we're just trying to up the amount of veg we're getting but i should be able to transfer a good amount of veg from over here really really soon as you can see Ward brand is actually over 100 population already as well but look at that we have um, a good amount of bread coming and 240 veg so i am gonna start doing that over here so one of the first things i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna speed it up to start i think the eggs are doing okay yeah we're getting a good amount of apples now i just need to up the veg number so receiving from there i'm not sure whether these even have no they don't have mules assigned at the moment so we'll get those assigned so they're actually doing it. i was wondering why i wasn't doing anything right livestock trading post trade import mules i'm just going to go up to uh, 16 mules real quick and i'm actually going to get three people in there we've got pl plenty of families to spare it doesn't really matter too much and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and get another one of these bad boys done. And we, to be fair, it would make sense for it to be here, right? We've got a road sending it straight in, so that would be ideal. So I'm going to go here. And I'll keep that going. We'll go from there. But I hope you're all well, guys. Welcome yourselves back on in. Uh, <laughs> I want to get this one to a thousand as well. And just so you're aware, the sheep situation, we now have 95. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. All right, that pack station has finished then. So I'll get someone assigned. I'll order one in from there as well. And what we'll do with this one, this is going to be with Woodbrand. What are we going to send? So a 7k firewood. Let's send some charcoal. You guys can have charcoal. We've got loads of it anyway. And then we're going to receive the uh, vegetables here. We should be able to get a lot of veg for that as well. Yeah, 2.5 times. So we're going to run with that as well. We'll have to wait for, obviously, the mules to come in. And we'll run that over. And then hopefully we can get a good amount. I'm going to work on building this even more. So we're going to be baking crazy amounts of bread. And any new families that come in, I will be assigning to farmhouses. So I'm just going to offset that one a little bit. Once that's built, we'll get a couple more in there. And then I am going to increase these fields. So this whole section, I'm pretty sure, is good to go. The barley's not amazing, but we'll run it on these fields anyway. I think if we, as long as we keep it in this bit, we're good. There's a whole good fertility area, so we'll run that like crazy. I'm going to upgrade the storehouse as well. So we've, we're have we out of storage there. That's part of the problem here. They're getting clothing across, we'll get that in as well. I think I'm uh, officially out of um, stable space in Eschenhau. How did that happen? Right, we're going to get in. That's why they're not buying them in. So, let's get in a few more hitching posts down in our little section. So, just kind of filling this up with hitching posts. That'll do for now. We'll get those upgraded as well. And just so you're aware, we are 25 years in. So, a good amount. You know what? We've got the farmers. So, what I'm going to do in this uh, spare year, they're all going to have barley added in as a third year it should be okay so those three are done and let's get these three open as well the same as always and they should be able to uh accommodate so all you need to do is just slot barley into each slot here and then we should be good to go for everything we need do it guys get plowing when you can but yeah i've got the third one in being upgraded as well and we'll get uh, more thingies and i need to make sure i've got the stable space which we do so we'll make sure we're upgrading a few of these as well i am going to be ordering in ops whenever we can and then i might just grab in the one more bakery extension here so we've got three i'm not going to allow the marketplace as well because we are going to end up with just stupid amounts look at that we have all this grain i'm going to get a second one in the windmill as well and i may even get a granary slotted in for these guys as well because we're going to want all the flour and stuff going into this one. So I'll get that set up as well. And then I'm going to get one more. Oh, we haven't got any workers at the moment to do any building, actually. Okay, let's take out the one worker out of there. Because we upgraded, didn't we? There we go. 
And there we go. Officially over 1.5 thousand population. Oh my god. And as they come into these, we're going to make sure they get braided. That'll fit families in as well. I'm pretty sure we're all good. I'm hoping to get these guys kind of set and ready over here as well. So these food stalls should help soon. So these guys should get the distribution they need. I think I need one more over here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then as soon as the marketplace is finished, I'm going to move it to this area here. And there it is. And stock that up. There we go. And then we should be able to slowly get these houses sorted as well. Because we, we're getting there. I think that still has three. Yeah, it's just the food variety. But it's over there. And it is a variety issue. It's not an actual food distribution issue. So we are working on that. The veg should help though. From what we're going to get from that packing station. Once it's got the thingies in. Have you got the mules yet? You have. Lovely. So you should see some good transporting happening. And it's pretty close, so we should get those quite quickly. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the uh, the cobbler shop once more now. So we're struggling for normal leather. All because the cobbler shop is doing the usual. And here we go. We're going to deselect everything food-wise. And we're just going to keep those guys in there. So we're going to have green and flour only. And then I'm going to assign one person to there. So they've already put bread in there, as always. And look, I've got these unticked, but it's still doing the usual where it's just full of them, unfortunately. So they haven't to go too far. But I think it's just down to storage in the other ones. Spring begins in year 26, and we are plowing up the barley fields here. We should get a yield from that. And I'm pretty sure that is helping now. So I'm seeing these kind of not go red anymore, which is good. If we click the marketplace, just have a look. Yeah, number's going up. Lovely. All right, because I upgraded that other one, we're going to need to free up something. I'm going to deal with those raiders in a moment. I'm just going to free up two people here. And we're actually going to want to get a few more houses. And what I'm going to do is do some more farms again. So I'm probably going to just try and get definitely not that many. Maybe something like that will be good enough. So we'll have a, enough area to kind of deal with that. And let's take a look where the readers are coming from. So they're, yeah, they're just that. Okay, I should be able to deal with these nice and easy. With I think we've got the retinue out in time. Hopefully they don't burn down the houses. We should be fine here. So... Because of that, they've spotted our thingy. I'm going to move it over here, and I should be fine. Might be able to bait them and fight them on this hill here, actually. Next to our other area. Let's do that. I reckon I can get there in time. And there we are, ready on the hill. The retinue. I love it with the fight at the stables. Look at it. That is a horrible hill for them to fight on, actually. I wonder if they can even get round. Might try and flank us here. Still on the waterfront. Yeah, I think that's better. Alright, let's get defensive stance. And here they go. Across the river you shall need to run. And blood already splatting everywhere. Very nice. They've got that low effectiveness look. Look at that. Yes. I'm just going to leave them for now then. Should see good effectiveness drop on a lot of these. Let's push these guys back. And then we'll move across. I hope. Get the push on that. I don't know where the fourth one is here. Oh, they're already dead. Hopefully not burning my stuff down. No, they're stuck in the city. And to be fair, probably get rid of that one. He'll be all right on his own. So you can go home. Got the hills, so you shouldn't have a problem at all. Look at that. And we'll go back to defensive stance. And we shall watch once more in the ravine. My manor house at the top as well. And there it is. Go on, lads. I love it. Well done. There we go. Absolutely wipe the floor with them. And there we go. Job done. And we'll disband these guys once they're into their territory as well. Beautiful. All right. Family's moving in then. So we'll go through these as and when. And we'll get these kind of upgraded as well. So we'll get carrots and an upgrade. So it's going to take a while before we're gaining from them. But I'm just going to pre-do it. So I don't need to worry about the settlement at all now. Because farming is set up. And once we've got a lot more families, we'll get another set of fields in. And then we'll be in for some good, good stuff. All right, in anticipation then, with the new families coming in, I'm going to also make this. Uh, we need a new storehouse first. So I'm going to grab a storehouse and I'm going to pop that there. And then I'm also going to get the malt house. 
But the malt house, actually, it would make sense. I reckon travel time isn't too bad. If I was to do here, and then I can get, like, the pub here so they, they can go and grab it. It's not far to roll the barrels, is what I'm thinking. And would you look at that? We've already got the uh, the good stuff set up over here. So we've already got 182 honey from these guys as well. So food production zone, fantastic. So once again then, back over here, I'm going to build another packing station. And I'm going to pop it here because this is going to be trading honey as well with this settlement. And I'm going to do that for charcoal once again. So we've gone for the renewable kind of trade resource here, which is proving to be really good actually. We've got this whole setup here. And the foresters are replenishing it anyway, so we are absolutely fine. And I'm just going to do this. So the woodcutters kind of go ahead and only take from this kind of area as well. So these guys should have a good area. There we go. So good area of uh, influence there, and that will keep our coal coming. All right. So this storehouse, I'm going to turn everything off, and I'm going to allow malt. And then I'm going to get one person in there ready. So anticipate that. How's my flower doing? You guys are doing great. Lovely. And look at this bread. 692 as well. And actually, this should be the brewery. This one right here. It's in between. Although they have to go... Storehouse, malt house, brewery. You know what? I'm going to cancel. No. Is that right? Maybe I move the well. Let me have a look what we can do here. Yeah. Move the well over there. Let's demolish that one. I may be able to squeeze the pub in this gap. It's quite a big gap, right? That should be fine. So just a small brewer house in there as well. Still got some time before they move in, but I think that's the smart play, just for efficiency. And we should see that clothing going across really soon. I might get one more in into here in the hopes that they don't open firewood, but they probably will. Okay, second pack station then. We're going to go into advanced here. Make sure we got enough mules, which we do. We're going to say world brand. We're going to send. What do we want to send this time? I'm actually going to send some flour. We've got way more flour than we know what to do with. So, yeah, we're, we're, not, um, we're not baking quick enough. And we'll be baking quicker at the other one. And then we're going to want to receive more um, honey. There we go. So there's a one-to-one. -one, that's fine. So we'll get a few each time. And then we can up that as we go along. And that just keeps our food buffering over here. Because uh, that's the variety issue, I think. And then we're fine. Yeah, it's going up slowly again as the food comes in. So I'm happy with that. Oh, look at all this wool now. Oh my god, we can't create enough yarn here. So we've got Weaver's Workshop pumping out as quick as we can. I'm going to go ahead and set up trades for this over here now. And we're going to up the amount of traders we have too. So we're going to export, and then we're going to have to sell sheep too. It's going to get pretty out of hand over here really quickly, which is what I want. And we'll sell that for as long as we can. And then we'll also do the same with uh, yarn. So we're exporting. We're keeping... Let's actually put this number up, and then let's get the amount that we're making a little bit better. So I'm going to grab another weaver's workshop. I'll probably just chuck it in here, and then hopefully I can connect a little road up to that. And then we're going to turn back on the livestock trading post, and I'm going to... No trade the sheep for now. What we'll do is um, we will export that one soon. But yeah, it's going to get crazy out of hand over here because of that. So we'll go up to six. What I'm going to do is get this set up. So these guys are going to trade with Wallbrand now. Wallbrand's going to become a bit of a hub for each one. We're going to give them yarn. So that'll help with our clothing need. And then we're going to receive bread, as you can see here. So I've turned off the buying of bread because they're actually got zero over here. And that's part of the issues on some of this. A good amount of everything else coming in. So if I just get some of that, we'll be good. And then we'll just check in. How's the eggs doing? 2.1k. Over here has got some serious food, man. I think it's time to go ahead and grab in now a bunch more houses. So we're fine on a lot of things here. And we're going to go for a varied amount of uh, riverside stuff. I'm going to get in a huge amount. And we're going to just set in a whole row of goods in there as well. Both mule stations on the go then. So we're going to go barter with wool brand we are going to send yarn and receive bread and wool brand send wool no as we're upping the amount of yarn we should receive a stupid amount of it and then we're going to receive i think i'm going to try and get 
just a whole bunch of bread to start and then we'll do ale afterwards if we need it so that's what we're going to go with we're still a bit behind on uh, getting in the mules for that but we'll we'll try our best okay wool brand has a good amount of thingies now so we want to wait to upgrade this one so what does it need clothing stall supply there we go new clothing stall done so we should get that in in a moment and get this upgraded then how are we looking over here look at that look at those apples man yes we see a lot of stuff now so veg and honey coming in nicely from the other side it's still okay on the firewood and stuff so we should be good and then wool brand has everything it needs to keep growing beautiful there's the upgrade so we'll get that one going i can get a few of these kind of upgraded now as well and let's get a herb garden on the forager's hut as well and look at that yield man so the barley begins we got our first few done and the new plowing starts as well. So, I'm going to get one more farmhouse. Just here. And I'm going to build a few more farms again in a moment. I think we've got enough families to accommodate. And then this one over here is going to be our brewery. So, we're going to start malt housing, all that jazz. So, I'll probably just slowly create the beer. There shouldn't be a massive need for it. But it does mean I can get the full upgrades done over here. So, let's continue to do that. So, we can keep money flowing over here. Money without a trade post, by the way, might I add, guys. We haven't traded at this one yet already. So, in good standing. And look at this. We have ale in. I haven't even upgraded the church yet, which is hilarious. Anyway, farmhouse is in. Let's get that upgraded with the plot. And let's etch out three more farms. So, we can start to go this way, actually. So, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Three more farms. We'll get these set up nicely for a new dawn. There we go, all free set up to have all sorts. I'm testing a theory of doing two years of wheat instead, and I might be able to up that over here. But I just want to point out over here, we still have, look at all this grain and flour. It is just crazy. So I can cook up way more bread over here. So to be honest, I need to do it, right? So let's go ahead and chuck in, firstly, a whole bunch of communal ovens. So I'm going to get three more communal ovens in. And we'll pump this up as much as we can. Get this baking, guys. And how are we doing over here? We should start to see some movement. So as these grow in, I haven't decided what I want to put in, actually. I'm trying to buffer this place with a few eggs. But at the same time, I want to make sure we've got the veg and stuff in. And they're nice long gardens. So let's go with veg. And then a couple of the end ones will go with uh, chickens as they get smaller. So these guys here are going to be chickens. Boom. Good expansion. And how are we doing over here? <laughs> There is so much going on, guys. Look at all these I've got to work on now. Chickens. There we go. All done with chickens now. And I am going to upgrade a few to level two once again. Because we are in a position for happiness to not worry about that. And let's check in the beer. Look at this as well. Oh, my God. How are you guys doing? Let's get four in there. And we should. We'll get one in the tavern as the ale comes in as well. So we should see... Yep, 22 ale there, so it's slow, but it's fine. Then we've got some more raiders to deal with as well. And I will get the church upgraded at some point. Oh, they're coming in over here again. They really like this area, don't they? So we're going to fight with these guys over here. Actually, an archer tower would be good here. We can see how we can get on, and then I'll flank him with these guys. Kind of intrigued, actually, as to uh, how one retinue squad would do here. It's going to be interesting as they come in, so I know we'll probably lose them, but they are actually... Oh yeah, they're getting absolutely smashed. I might be able to wipe out the two here. Oh yeah, nice and easy. Back to defensive and push. Well, this retinue's done it all on their own, so you can go home. Look at that. Holy crap. You absolute beast. We lost one, so we're going to disband, but... Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't lose any. We're good. All right, before I go any further, I'm just going to get a mass upgrade on all of these that can. I think I'm out of logs already, but we're doing loads. That's coming in. We're up to 700 there as well, so that is great. 330 over here. Now, look at all this. I think I missed one over here that needs chickens. 2.2k <laughs> eggs. Look at the honey as well. I might need to trade up because the honey's struggling over here. I'm, I'm nicking it all. They're grabbing it so quick from uh, how close it is. I think we'll, we're going to readjust and reassess with these then. So we're trading with gold hoff, firewood for eggs. So if I go, I know what the issue is. Let's change that for charcoal and we'll get a better value ratio. So they carry, yeah, 2.5. There we go. And then what are you doing? 
The other one is doing firewood for honey. So we're going to do charcoal for honey. Yeah, much better value. So we should be able to get massive honey numbers over here. And eggs. And that should keep us good. So we've got a permanent two. We've got apples and bread always over here. We've got a little bit of berries and a little bit of meat that we're getting personally. And the veg, we still need more. So I need to get onto that. We've got all of these that we are going to turn into probably... Honestly, I kind of want more veg because the eggs just don't do enough. And we'll just keep importing them, I think. So although they're small, I don't have any problems with that because singular families, that's more veg farms. It should be fine. And we're consuming a crazy amount of stuff here right now. There we go. And we'll get those upgraded as well so they are more efficient. And then I'll get these to tier 3 as well. They are ready for it. I am totally ready for you guys to be it as well. And then we'll watch as we uh, as we struggle with food supply. It's over this way anyway. I am working on it. Best thing I could do, to be fair, is build a marketplace over here with a granary. But there's, I want to rely on this one here. So the problem we have is that they're just not getting enough stuff in. So I'm going to go ahead and get one more. And then as they get more food in, hopefully, we'll get that distributed as well. So if they make a food store, which is that one. Get this one relocated once more over here. It's slowly working, but not as effective as I'd like. So, and how are we doing in wall brand, everyone? Let's take a look at you. <laughs> oh, look at this veg number. Yes, that is what we want. And then the saw pit can stay off, but I don't even think I need it. I think these guys are getting their ale, aren't they? They are. Beautiful. So we want to smelt some clay and probably dig that out ourselves. I need some more houses, though. Oh, wow. Our firewood storage is so full. Can I... Am I still doing woodcutter? I am. Let's pause that. We're getting charcoal in. I've actually run out of space. So we need another store. And I'm going to pop it. Where do we want it? I think you'll be okay. In that gap there. That's going to be just firewood once again over here. Oh man, we're too far ahead almost. It's crazy. There we go. Right, turn that off. So this one, actually, we're going to allow that. I'm going to take everything out of here, apart from charcoal and firewood once more. I'm going to take everything else out. And I'm going to allow one person in there. And I'm going to get it upgraded. So we're going to transfer all the charcoal coming in from that side. And then hopefully we can get all this food over. And I think it's time for a clothing store. Get another one in. And that should satisfy the extra houses. I love the look of this one. It's so dense, but it looks awesome. I think once I fill that section as well, which I'm going to do, I want this one just to keep going. It's just crazy, man. Chickens are life. And I'm actually going to do that, and then that one can be a farm as well. And that fills out that whole area. And that gives us a lot of um, working room to get more honey out of this place if we want to. Although, the honey farm is running like crazy anyway. I think I still might get a couple in. There we go. A whole bunch of honey farms coming in there as well. We're going to get even more of those. And I'm actually going to go ahead and build the packing station over here now, which I'm going to send with honey. So we're still inside our zone if I were to uh, build it over here. That's a long old trek, so I'm going to pop it there. And we're out of stall locations now at our main marketplace, which I'm okay with. We've got plenty of room. And look at this as it coming in. Vegetables and expand. Veg. Veg. And veg. These guys are going to be chickens. There we go. I'm happy with that. All right. We still have a huge desire to get these guys sorted. Let's make sure they're not on the marketplaces here. Holy crap. Let's get you guys upgraded first so we can get you to bakeries as well. Look at this. We have 1.3. Obviously, we're transferring it in as well. Look at all this yarn. Holy crap. I need another storehouse. That's why we got them. Let's get two more storehouses, and how's my granary doing? It's pretty damn full. We've got loads of flour and stuff in here because they have no room. And this one is also pretty damn full. Let's get another bakery and another one. Like right, you guys can bake to your heart's content. And then expand all of these into veggies. And that one. I want to point out that we're almost up to a 1,000, even though I haven't even got a marketplace set up. And there comes another yield. Oh my god, I'm in love with this settlement. It is so powerful right now. And then any outstanding, we can also grab honey from this side. I'll get two more in, so we'll use those families. And then over here, we'll start assigning any families that we don't have. Spare, or any that we do, sorry, into these guys. 
And I'm going to get another this packing station set up that I already started to send these over. And would you look at that? This is going to be Honey Bonanza. And it's just being built now, so I'm going to get that to the highest priority. Pretty sure all of these are ready. Yep, let's get these two eggs as well. And what a settlement this one's turning out to be. It's nearly 400 over here now as well. Still all tier 2. And here we go, guys. 144 to 124 sheep total. They are still coming in. And let's get this weaver workshop occupied. So we're going to try and spin up that wool into yard. And a few more upgrades in there. Packing stations there. I'm going to get a few more houses here. I want this to keep going. And we can utilize these marketplaces here. Oh, damn it. Don't be too steep, man. We can, we can change this. This is fine. What I can do is come around the back of these, I hope. And then I can build off here and go upward. Let's try it. Sometimes it does allow you. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Now we're talking, baby. And you are going to be farms in there. So we're filling all these gaps in. All right. So the packing station over here is going to begin. So this is going to be with... I think it's called Eschenhau. I forgot all the names. Yep, Eschenhau. We're going to go ahead and send honey. And we're going to receive charcoal. And i got a band of raiders coming, so I'm going to get those over in Goldhof as well. And here it goes. The clash. We should have a great effectiveness against them here. Look at this. Just incredible. Push. And there we have it. Right. Nice, easy defense. We are obviously coming into year 28 in a moment, so I need to get on top of this. Just want to point out how much we're getting here. I probably want to stop sending that flower now. Because, although we've got more grain than we know what to do with as well, so we must be baking up a good amount. Yeah, look at these apples and veg now. Jeez, man. And we're now getting the food over here properly, so it's definitely working. So I'm seeing the upgrades come in, which is great. It's what we want. But loads, man. Look at all these tier 3s as well. We'll get all these going wherever we can. Still no food issues. I've just got a, like an almost perfect setup going, which is great. In our main, anyway. I'm pretty happy where we're at. I'm aiming for 2k in the gap that we have. So, let's go over to Eschenhau. Yeah, 1624. So, we're almost there. It is starting to uh, drop now. I'm on about 45 FPS-ish. So, it's getting down there now and if i can feel it start to get a bit stuttery at times so definitely feeling it and yeah i didn't even it makes sense to actually get people in to bake the bread right that that would be a good start so let's fill the communal ovens let's get that going and let's work down some of this so i think we need to uh, get another windmill too so we're uh, we're getting way too much in it's a good thing just not breaking it down quick enough right so, do we have a slot where we would take down the trees? That's way too far away. We've kind of like, you know, when we filled in the gaps, we do have a road here, so efficiency's not great, but I'm going to do it anyway, and that should help us with the extras. Now, I want to bring a road straight up through the middle of here, and I also want to bring one around the back of these gardens, and then around this windmill. That should help with a bit of efficiency. I want this to be gone anyway. I don't care about these wild animals, so. So as we've got all the apples coming in and the veg now, we might even want to consider bartering some of that. Now, the honey should be coming in really, really soon from over here, so we want to start utilizing this as a point for sending it. We've got one. We need another mule. Um, and yeah, we're seeing some charcoal come in, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and get another two of these. So I'm going to utilize these guys from this side. We're just going to keep sending them charcoal. That number just doesn't go down. So firewood and charcoal, we can just get more. Let's swap the uh, firewood for charcoal, if need be. I could even start baking bread over there if I want. Holy crap, look how much malt I've got. <laughs> Didn't even realize, 1.2k. Right, I need more breweries, man. Let's go ahead and make a bit of a change here then. And let's knock out a couple of these. What are you guys doing? So we got one, two... Three, four, four breweries. That's definitely not enough. So we've got goats here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's turn that into a brewery. Let's also get rid of these chickens and turn that into a brewery. And maybe this one here. 
So this will be like brewery quarters. They're all trying to brew the best beer in their back garden. Maybe you as well. And we've got no planks now. Okay. All right. The game crashed on me. So the last few minutes, I only lost four minutes. So it's fine. I need to go back and make those breweries and stuff. Let's get these guys actually disbanded. And let's make sure... Was it the packing station? Yeah, let's order another one in. That's fine. So, all I did was breweries, right? Let's uh, let's start with that. Did that road stay? No, I lost my windmill. Okay. All right, that's back in with the road as well. Are these populated? No. All right, communal ovens. And let's go into the breweries. Where was I? We've got the... Uh, a few here, haven't we? So I called this brewery quarter. We're going to demolish that. That's one. Get you in. I think I was about to use all my planks, but we've got a spare, so we're fine. That was it. We'll get rid of the goat one. Beer, beer, beer. And then you, wasn't it? There we go. So nice brewery quarter. We've got loads of them over here. We should be good then. Still keeping uh, tight on the money as well. So everything is looking fantastic, I think. Let's just double check. We should see those numbers going back up. And I want that honey to come in still. So we're trying our best over here. So Wallbrand, how are you looking? You're almost sending way too quick. Look how, how the veg and bread. Oh my god, man. How are you looking over here? Oh, I need to let you guys go. Get that upgraded. The rat and you is sorted. And then over here, we had a few upgrades that we would have missed as well. So let's get those going. And there's no bread coming in. So let's take a gander here. So importing bread. I think I want a trade over here. Not that we can accommodate it so much yet, but I'm going to pop it in. Let's have a look what we can get done here. I think if I upgrade some of these, we can get some more families in. All right, we got our stables in now. So let's get a couple more pack stations over here. Perfect. And we're going to trade those in as well. So let's take a look. Eggs, bread and honey is just too high. So let's actually do a swap here now. Rather than receiving honey from there, we're going to do it from over there instead. Oh, wow. I'm losing track of where everything is. So I had it set up close to here, right? I'm just... It's not showing up on my uh, thing. There they are. They're just tiny. Let's stop sending flour now. Maybe send grain so we can mill that up. And then we'll receive honey. And then the other one... We're still doing charcoal and vegetables. I might swap that to receive eggs now from the other place. So we'll get eggs that will go from Goldhof. So that might balance it out a little bit more because we're seeing a good amount of that anyway. And we'll still get some honey. So these guys will be trading the honey from this side. All right, there we go. We got this one in. So this one can now go to Eschenhau. We're going to send honey again. And we're going to receive. I wish you could just send and not receive. Charcoal once more. So we'll go with honey and charcoal. That should be fine. That will slowly increase what we can get out of them as well. And then we'll do the same here. So when we can order. We're going to go Eschenhau and we're going to send honey again. Or oh, eggs, actually. Let's get eggs. And we're going to receive linen. So something a little bit different. And what we can do over here is actually put in another... I forgot that I put a windmill down here ages ago. Oh, well, that's awkward. Yeah, I'm going to put in another um, three farms over here for linen. Flax fertility... And we'll get these three up. So same as always. And I'm going to rotate these guys. So we're going to go with uh, two. I'm going to try and do it that way. So there's one year off. We're going to go for maximum flax over here as well. And this farmhouse needs to be able to cover that. There we go. I'm just going to up that a little bit because we're making linen. And I'm going to send it across as an extra. Let's get all this grain gone. Flour and all that. We should be good. I could probably send malt. I just can't get over how much malt we're we currently have we actually see a surplus of ale too which is actually really really good i want that to happen and then eventually we may be able to send it somewhere else and it'll be worth a lot right so we got a really good amount of families over here now i'm in the wrong region that's gold it's showing as gold hoff damn it so just zoom out and back in um yeah that's more like it just looking at the numbers yeah everything looks good so i'll leave that and then gold hoff we still have it's just too much. Oh, man. So much. And I got loads of upgrades I can do. Which I am going to do. Let's go and total this up now. So I'm just going to round them up. 400. Yeah, plus 700. So 1,100. Plus 200. So 1,300. Plus 1,600. So just under 3k population 
in total so far. We're doing so good. Love it, man. And all of this is good to go again as well. I'm just flying. It is lagging a bit now, though, as I was saying. So let's take a, a good look around our settlement here. Look at this place, man. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, I really appreciate you. Take it easy. And I'll see you soon.